Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways on how to map a network drive or a shared drive. So for example, if you have a network attached storage or you work at a place where you have uh, shared drives that uh, need to be mapped to each uh, user, um, I'll show you three different ways on how to go about that, okay? Um, each way has its own advantage and disadvantage. I'll go ahead and um, explain those as well. Uh, but first I'm going to start with a the most simple way and I'm sure mo most of you already know this. Uh, first way is obviously you go to computer and then you see a button just just says here map network drive so you would simply select that right and I'm just going to leave this at Z but you can choose any available letter that you have so uh, but first make sure you have reconnect at logon set up for example um, if you're doing this for somebody else, you definitely want to check that because sometimes it, it, it can be unchecked uh, by accident. Uh, so once you have, make sure you that's checked there. All you got to do in here is type in the name of the share. For example, the one I have set up right now is connected exactly here. So you would type in the name of the share and then I'm going to map it to the folder which is in my case named volume one just for the sake of the demonstration okay now sometimes if you're working on somebody else's computer for example if you're uh, doing a desktop support and you have a shared drive that's connected to your network but it's only available for your administrators and you are in this case administrator uh, you might want to check connect using different credentials and the reason for that is so that way you can get a pop-up asking you to put in your own credentials, right? Um, and if you do this, if you select connect using different credentials, you want to make sure that this is not checked because that drive that you map, it, it will stay mapped for that person. So in case you're trying to just use that for... Uh, the sake of uh, resolving the issue, like say for example you need a file that you need to put on a user's uh, PC to resolve the issue, you don't want to you don't want to leave that drive connected so that way you know the user doesn't you know accidentally go into that shared drive or network drive and you know delete some things you know which shouldn't they shouldn't have the ability to do so to begin with but you never know okay but in this case we're just going to pretend that we're mapping the drive for the user that's going to use this permanently okay now once I hit finish here I have it set up to ask for a for uh, for a password but if we're if we are located on a network and uh, in, obviously if we're on a domain we're gonna have a you know roaming accounts right so in this case um, since this is just a shared drive on my home network I have it set up to ask for a password but if you're on a domain um, chances are it won't even ask for the password login um, given that the user of this PC already has access to this share drive right so I'm gonna click finish here and like I said it, it's gonna ask me for my credentials and I'm just gonna put in my password and log in and like I said here I would click remember my credentials so that way um, it doesn't ask me over again right so I would click OK and there we go it opened it up right away and I had this other window open up so you can see it actually mapped it there okay and that's the first way of going about it and let's see here let's I'll show you a second way on how to do this I'm gonna go ahead and close this So the second way of mapping the network drive is through the command prompt, okay? So let's go to the command prompt, click start, type in CMD, or you can just browse for it. And I like to run it as administrator. And you may not necessarily want to run it as administrator when you add it to the user. So that way the user's credentials should be able to, uh, uh, should be able to take effect much easier otherwise you may get a uh, prompt in here asking to put um, credentials but the, it all like I said it all depends what you're trying to do if you're trying to use it for a user you can just run it or if you're just trying to add it so as a temporary access to the network share drive you might want to run it as administrator okay 
first thing I, what I like to do is actually disconnect the drive. So just in case uh, drive's been mapped wrongly and you need to use that drive letter and for example user try to map it themselves they put in a wrong path name and now um, it's stuck with that wrong path name it needs to be disconnected first okay otherwise it's not gonna let us map anything so how do we do that we just go to command prompt and we type in net use and then we're gonna use um, Z as the drive letter like we used in the previous uh, previous um, previous example so we're just gonna type in Z for the drive letter colon space forward slash delete so it's pretty simple this will just disconnect or remove the network drive uh, that's added to the computer okay so when you hit enter it says it was done successfully okay so now you know that that drive letter is free for use and I mean this can be crucial you know like for example if, if a user is using a program that needs a very specific path uh, to the network drive for example like let's say it's a database and it has to be very specific included including the uh, the drive letter you definitely want to disconnect it first because you can't just um, you know switch to Y for example and add it um, to Y because otherwise the program may not work okay and how do we uh, add it back well it's very simple it's very similar uh, to what we did for deleting it so we would just type in net use z colon and then space and then backslash backslash to tell it that it's a network path and then in my case I will type in and this will be whatever you have for the name of your shared drive in my case it's 192.168.0.1 and then I'm gonna map it to the folder so backslash means the, the folder level and then I'm going to type in the name of the folder which in my case it's volume 1 so after we hit enter it says it has completed it successfully okay now moving on to the third way of mapping the drive I'm just going to close this So the third way of mapping the network drive is by creating a batch script file. A very, very simple batch script file uh, with the exception of a um, couple of, uh, of two more entries. It's actually very or almost almost identical to the command prompt, the way we did it through the com command prompt. But the reason for making a batch script is because this way um, you don't actually or you don't necessarily have to be present at the user's computer to map the network drive for them okay uh, once we complete this once we make this batch script we can just either email it to them or send it to them in, in some other ways or we can just go through the back door and just put it onto their desktop and this way um, the user can simply just click on it and it will just happen for them okay and I'll explain how this is done okay so let's go ahead and go to our start and then type in notepad go ahead and open up a new notepad and they went into hiding to my right screen so on here so like I said it will be very simple just like very similar to our um, command prop command but the only difference is here and if you're not familiar with any batch scripting, uh, don't let this scare you. It's it's very very simple. Okay, batch scripts are great. Okay, it'll it'll help you a lot, especially, you know, if you work in a, in an environment where where it requires you to do this a lot. Okay, so what we're just gonna type here, we're just gonna type in at sign, and we're gonna type in echo, and we're gonna hit enter twice, and here. Um, you can we're going to type in net use and then we're going to do the same thing we did before just to make sure that um, that the drive is not drive letter is not taken up by something else we're going to go ahead and type in net use 
colon forward slash delete. That way it will uh, remove or free up the letter Z for us or drive letter Z. And then we're just going to hit enter. And then we're going to type in net use Z colon. And just like we did on the command prompt backslash backslash. And you would type in here the name of your drive. And in my case, it's 192.168.0.1 and then the folder level which is volume 1 okay and the only other thing we have to do here is hit enter twice type in exit okay the this batch is um, an assumption that the user already has access to this network share drive they may get a pop-up once asking for their credentials but at least this will definitely map it for them so they'll have access to it okay so here we got to go in order to complete this batch file because right now it's just a document we have to click file and then save as and just to make it simpler I'm gonna point it to my downloads folder so that way I can find it easier but here you can name it whatever you want but here we're just gonna name it uh, drive map and then we got to make sure here that we type in period BAT for the batch script uh, uh, file format okay and then we just click save and now our batch script is saved into our downloads folder which we're gonna find here in a sec downloads and there it is so once I execute this it's just gonna do everything for me right it's just gonna do a real quick and it'll just might even flash you may not even see it but once I double clicked it it just does it and it's very fast um, actually I'm gonna show you it it pops up on my left hand screen so I'm gonna try to scroll over my screen here so you can see it happen Sorry about that, but you will see a real quick pop up once I click, once I uh, double click this here, you'll see a run. You see it right there? It went real quick. Matter of fact, I'm just going to move this over a little bit more because I have really wide screen. So that way you can see it. And you see it, how it happened real quick. And actually, I'm going to actually make it pause for a sec. And click save and that way you can see exactly what happened right so I'm just gonna move this back here sorry about all the window moving I guess that's what happens when I have too many screens going but it is convenient <laughs> okay so now we know the easy way the little bit harder way but still simple way of adding or mapping the uh, network drive three complete different ways and batch script is really really useful so if you just if you're doing this a lot for people um, at your work if you do that stuff support you might want to create some of these batch scripts so that way whenever you know they uh, request for this to happen you just need to ask for the path and the drive letter and then you can just send it to them you can put it on their desktop and you just tell them just click on it and they'll just click on it and that'll be it okay hopefully you guys found this uh, video very uh, uh, very useful and helpful I'll have more videos every week you can look forward to that if you like this video share it with your friends and family don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day bye bye